and then you all can do it together with your partner uh, when we go into the breakout rooms. We're gonna start by just showing you an example. So after I put my stencil on the paper, I tape it down so it won't move like that, okay? And the next step, if you look at your sheet step by step, the next step is choose paint colors. And so I have a choice here <clears throat> of either doing, I thought maybe some fall colors or maybe some soft colors. And one of those looks like a fall color, I think. I think I'm gonna try this fall colors because I'm really in a mood for fall, okay? And we're gonna paint inside the stencil and we're gonna use the paintbrush to do that. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit, just have fun. This, this is something we can really relax doing. I kind of paint towards the inside because I don't want to let that paint bleed outside of the stencil, but if it does, it's okay. I'm just gonna kind of cover the inside. I'll just kind of play with it. It's okay if things blend a little bit, I think. I really like to blend paint. I think that's really relaxing. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. That feathery brush stroke you're using. And you can do. You can fill this space any way you want. You can create actual patterns. You might do that here. Top of the bottle. And I might do that maybe a little bit there too. Just to. Look at a resting place there. Okay. That's probably good. All right. So that goes really quickly. And this is the exciting thing that you're doing next. And you kind of do this when the paint is still wet. So you will have a choice between gold leaf that is silver and gold leaf that is gold. And because I chose these warm colors, I think I'll do the gold. And when you pick up the gold leaf, it's got a little paper around it. Just open it up. And there it is, pure gold. <laughs> it's really fun to work with. And what you can do is you can actually just lie that right on your artwork like that, or you can tear it and, and do something, but I don't think that looks particularly nice. So I'm going to move this around. I'm going to scrape at it with this fork. And I don't know, it's got a little sort of edge there, so I'm gonna scrape away. And that's kind of cool, because now it's making some scratchy marks in the paint. This is another time where you can sort of play with it and move it to the way you want it. Now I'm liking mm -hmm. what's happening there. That's really neat. Thank you, Leaving those lines. And then I feel like this little top part maybe could use some. That's going to be tricky, but I'm going to work on it. I'm going to try to put that up there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right, and then the next step is use the small brush to add small details. All right, now I'm going to take my paint again, and then I'm going to do a little bit more detail to this. Maybe I'll actually. I'll... Okay. It kind of looks like 
I could move it up just a little, just to have fun with those lines that I see. So now we're just relaxing and playing and I'm gonna go back into the orange a little bit and blend that. And then maybe just a little at the top. Just enjoy however you want to create some designs there. Okay. So now we get to remove the stencil. Okay. Put that tape there. Lift it off. Ooh, nice. All right. And so the final step is we can add watercolors to the background if we like. We can either leave it just like this, very bold and very clean, or we can add watercolors. Well, I, I love to add watercolors. <laughs> so now, rather than putting all the watercolors, let me think about what kind of complementary color could I use. I could either make the background really bold and dark and a complementary color to orange might be that bold blue. So maybe I'll choose that. And I can actually kind of play with it. I put a little water into my watercolor set just to add a little bit of um, ability to make the pigment move. So there's a little water already sitting in that. Uh-oh. UVA colors. <laughs> Can't help it. <laughs> and I'm a hokey. Oh, no. <laughs> they do. It's also Auburn, I think. Okay. Go ahead and do a little bit more over here. Clean that line up a little bit there. And with watercolor, you can certainly use the paint, but then you can also just take some water just directly on your brush and kind of just blend it out instead of using the dark. So I'm going to do that. I don't want it to be too dark. I'm just going to blend it. I kind of like one in this composition. I kind of like one side being a little bit bolder than the other side, so it's got a little bit of a asymmetrical look to it. Mm -hmm. And then I, the other thing is to play with brush strokes. You can actually kind of play with with the way that looks. Okay. All right. And I don't even feel like I need to cover the whole thing. I'm just kind of covering what I want to. Okay. So now I think I am happy with that, except I see one little spot down there. Let me get that really quickly. As I look on the monitor, I see it. <laughs> Got to clean that line up a little bit. And this is all optional. You don't have to do any of the background at all. You can play. I'm just kind of. I'm to cover that up. Okay. All right. Time to put a mat on it to see how that looks. Ooh. Ta da! That's beautiful. Look at it shimmering in the light. All right. It's, it's um, jeweled. <laughs> Painting jewels in a bottle with gold leaf. Did anybody, uh, I'm sure almost everybody saw I Dream a Genie at some point. When I think of the shape of that bottle, her bottle that she lived in was just a little bit wider <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> but she had a jeweled bottle that she lived in. Okay, well, we are almost ready for breakout rooms. So what we'd like you all to do is join us in our song because this too will bring back the energy and hopefully you really enjoy this project. So to get started and get that energy, we're gonna sing our song and then 
we have our co-hosts in here. We're going to join in with you. And students, sing with us. So everybody brings in the energy and the sunshine. All right, Mr. Willis, can you start us off? Okay. Thank you. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I'll always, I'll always love you and make you happy. I know that you will do the same. I'll never leave you. I'll always love you. Even on our rainy days. You are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine, you make me happy. The skies are gray. gray. You'll never you'll know, dear, how much I love Please don't take my sunshine away. It's your turn to make a beautiful painted jewel bottle with gold leaf. So I hope you have fun and we're about to send you to your breakout rooms with the students. Have fun everybody. I'll be coming around with the paint. We're back. Hello, everybody. I hope that you really enjoyed this project. Um, we, I forgot to show you this little vase of flowers and, and I thought it was kind of interesting here with these lights that we hear, have next to us. There's a little bit of glimmer on the glass. And if you're, you're doing a painting about or, or, or of a bottle or a vessel, usually there's a little reflection of white um, I think you can see it there and here. So I thought that was a fun thing to take note of when you think about um, a beautiful still life of a painting of flowers. But today we jeweled our bottles with gold leaf. So I hope you really enjoyed the project. I enjoy the project because it's sort of relaxing to do it and it's usually a surprise to see how it turns out. So I think it's a great time now for all of us to share our work. And um, I think what we should do is the same thing we've done in the past, and the students are going to introduce the work of the artist. So I'd like to start with Alexis, and will you share Ms. Ankofsky's artwork with us today? Okay, so Mrs. Ankofsky's, her artwork is Grandma's Old Bottle. Oh, I love the title. Can you build it up a little bit so we can see it? Oh, that's gorgeous. I love the, the use of that bold purple and doesn't that look wonderful with the strong pop of gold on it? Ah, that's pretty. There's something about the sort of abstract shape that you have there. It's, it's really kind of an interesting uh, look because if you bend something in artwork, sometimes that's what's more interesting. Think about Pablo Picasso and think about how he would take something that was shaped with symmetry and then he would create an asymmetric line to it, which actually was more interesting in the artwork in the, in the long run. So I really also like those little purple uh, highlights that you put there. Those um, kind of pinky purple against the blue really have kind of that look of the jewel colors that we're, we're talking about. Well done, that's gorgeous. That is- Thank you. Oh. Look, it looks like it came out of an attic or a basement. It, yeah, <laughs> I like that. It's a treasure. A valuable treasure. It's a treasure. And you know, one of the things that I think 
sometimes we do is we sign our artwork just um, on the back, but you, you may be able to let that dry and put your signature on that, Ms. Ankofsky. I just think that's such a cool work of art and it will look beautiful, matted and framed. Um, okay. And Morgan, will you show us Ms. Zagwija's artwork or introduce Ms. Zagwija's art, artwork? Yes, so she did the painting. I'm so sorry. I feel absolutely terrible. I can't remember the exact name of it, but she didn't use the the whitewash. She left it blank, and it looks so good like that. Nice and bold. Yes, she made it pop, so she said it looks like an Egyptian, an Egyptian art. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. Look at that. The glimmers of the gold leaf. And the texture and the color is vibrant and gorgeous. I yeah. like how you painted the outside, Ms. Ekwika. I like that feeling that you kind of gave it a, a three-dimensional quality. Um, and then those little highlights with the, the purple um, texture in addition to the gold. Just gorgeous. What, Ms. Ekwika, what did you, what is the title of this work? Oh, okay. There we go. Who can hear you? What's your title of this artwork? Oh, no question. Mm -hmm. Let me see what date we use out here. Movement question, all. Movement. If there's such a word as that. <laughs> I may have been in That's a really word. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> I love it. Hooray! <laughs> Beautiful work. Beautiful. That's gorgeous. That'll be gorgeous. You all are so kind. And Archna, how about Mrs. Thornton? Would you introduce her artwork today? So actually, uh, Miss Thor I was Miss Thornton. She wasn't able to come up with a name when I was with her. So blue plate, blue plate. I think she has one now. Blue plate. Oh, blue plate. Blue plate. All right, I'm, yeah. I'm so looking forward to this. Yeah. Oh my oh, wow. gosh. Wow. Hey, that looks good. That is fantastic. Oh, yes. Oh, I love that. That just has so much movement to it. I can see where you used your brush strokes and you gave it a little bit of texture. And I can see where you blended your paints so that they give this kind of um, softened but really wonderful look. And then you did something similar in the background with the watercolor. You, you used something similar in the technique how you used your brush. That is just spectacular. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, and Lauren, can you introduce Mr. Willis's artwork? So Mr. Willis named his art Bells of St. Yeah. Mary. Oh. What a wonderful title. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh, wow. Nice. Bells. Oh. There's a little bit of a bell mm -hmm. shape. Bells, yeah. And then the fact he that said it, um, the gold reminds him of angels. Oh. oh. That, oh. Looks <laughs> that looks good. I love it. I do too. I absolutely love it. And I like the color choice that you placed in the background. It looks like there's a little bit of a soft yellow and soft green there, which are really mm. work very well with the blues and the purples. But oh gosh, now I'm looking at those shapes that you have there. And I see that. That's just beautiful. The Bells of St. Mary's. Yay! Beautiful. <laughs> Well, I hope everyone enjoyed this project today. Um, each week, we're going to be doing a new project. Next week, you're going to be doing something very exciting. In fact, we're practicing the project now. The first thing that we do is we, we come up with a, a, a setup of what it's going to look like for the, we call the huddle table. We lay it out and we practice the project. So we're practicing the project for next week. And Jamie is going to lead the project 
And I won't tell you what it's going to be as of yet, because it's going to be a wonderful surprise. And I think you're going to really enjoy that project next week. Well, I sure hope that everyone feels the sense of peace. You've created these beautiful jeweled bottles that are abstract and representational. They are both. You sort of know what they are. They're, they're a beautiful vessel um, or a bell shape but they are treated with texture, okay. color, and, um, and those titles are just wonderful. So I can't wait for them to be a part of the art show. And I sure hope that you go off into mm -hmm. this weekend feeling joyful. And the way that we're gonna leave today is the way we, we leave every week. And we're gonna remember the light of then. And we're gonna sing this little light of mine. And Mr. Willis, because you do this so well, I hope you don't mind starting us off, <laughs> and we'll sing ourselves in the weekend, into the weekend. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. because I had to watch the lines. I couldn't do my lines were what I the lines were what I expected to do. I had a sneak peek at what we're gonna do next week. It's called Japanese Calypso. Oh she's telling them. And you're gonna be using some stamps and other things. And a bamboo brush. Oh wow. Now we haven't had an opportunity to use anything like that before in Alma. So I think it's gonna be a really, really interesting experience. Mm. And I wanted to bring you up today on how we're gonna do the art show this year because you know after every session we have an art show. We've got a little history this year. Um Art for the Journey is gonna do a virtual art show. So they're gonna take photographs of your art. And then they'll put together a video. And so your art show will be in a video. The cool thing about that is that Mr. Shane will come and see the art show. We'll be able to email that video to your family so that they can come to your art show too. Wonderful. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It went well. I'm not going to lie. Mr. Willis thought it was a tree, the outline of the <laughs> stencil. He was like, I thought that was a tree. Apparently it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't quite look like a bottle. I think um, that shape was chosen to be abstract, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Miss Sakaji kind of had a hard day today, it seemed like. Um, she just seemed to like a little like not disoriented, but just wasn't answering as fast as she normally did. And she said that she was like losing track of time because she was talking about how her son was coming Saturday. I was like, oh, that's so soon. Like you'll get to see him tomorrow. And she was just a little, it seemed a little heartening that I like was like, oh, he's coming tomorrow. And she was like, oh, is that tomorrow? And I felt really bad because like I didn't mean to like put it like that. Um, I was trying to like bring up the situation, but she just kind of kept forgetting quite a bit. Yeah. Um, it, people are in various stages of this condition and that happens. They have good days and then they have bad days and I have good days and bad days. Sometimes I'm like, where'd I put my keys? You know? So hopefully it was just one of those days and you were just the fact that you spent time together was still something that brought something positive. And the concept that we've reiterated is emotional contagion. So what we're trying to do is use this experience to bring positivity and joy. So the, the art making is, is just the ticket of what we, how we get there. It's kind of like how we enter into that place. And what you did was give her that sense that, yeah. And then just kind of what we've learned is in, with people with, with dementia, you don't want to correct them. You actually want to just kind of roll with it, which is so hard, especially because I had a mom with dementia and I was, mom, no, it's this day or, you know, and I just didn't know how to let that go and move into, you know, okay, <laughs> you know, sort of letting the anxiety of not remembering go away. So it's a good thing to bring up because that will happen when you have a conversation. And if somebody has a bad day, you sort of just have to let it roll. And I think you did just fine. So don't feel any feeling. I, I always carried with me a sense that I just never kind of felt like I got, got it right. Well, that's because it change, changes all the time. And in every single day and every single experience is going to be different. I think the most we can do is to remember it's hard we can't show our smiles but you can show your smile and a smile is worth a thousand words it's such a powerful tool and on zoom when you bring that you have to work at it sometimes i think we were talking about this earlier we have zoom fatigue and i think i mentioned this once to you guys there's something that happens where you just kind of are in a little you're in your little snow globe <laughs> you know, you kind of just sitting there with the snow around you. But what we really have to do is exude harder than normal in this in this case. So if you if you smiled, which I bet you did, you gave it. <laughs> Does anybody else? No, I definitely. I definitely um, tell Mr. Willis at the end of like each session before we go back to the full group. I always tell him, like, you never fail to make me laugh every week. So he knows that, like, in case he didn't see me smiling constantly, because I smile too much sometimes. You're great and, at smiling. <laughs> <laughs> but I, ha I make sure, because he is so funny, especially, like, when it involves glitter or gold. Like, I knew it, they did not even need to give him a choice. I knew he was going to pick gold. It was Aww. like, that's the thing. <laughs> that's, that's so amazing. You already knew. You already had instinct because you were already friends. That's already, and then Morgan, you're friends as well. You're compassionate and you're caring. We all have different ways we're sharing this friendship and it's starting to, you know, really be real. So does anybody, did anybody have something that they didn't know what to do or what to say? I mean, that was a good example. We have four really special people here because Stephanie and I had to, not had to, but we got to meet a bunch of people in their position who wanted to be on the partners. And you guys really rose to the top of the pack because of your smiles and your, you know, great attitude and just being compassionate. Like all four of you 
really exude that. So kudos to you and thank you for, you know, all you're doing. But, you know, when you have to choose and other people have to choose from a group and you stand out like that, awesome. Yeah. So you you have this ability then to share and it's a scary place sometimes to do that but you've got that. So thank you so much for sharing joy and sharing time and working through those, those times where it's like that. I remember we, we were just talking about a lady named Mrs. Bragg. She's um, no longer, but any, so there's no HIPAA problem, but she was a little paralyzed. She, she just, she would have like a paintbrush in one hand and another tool in another, and she just would sit there and her, volunteer was just trying to be very patient with her but didn't have quite the ability to give her that encouragement to go ahead and you know go ahead and put, maybe hold the other tool for her so that she could just start mm -hmm. so just that feeling of fear that that somebody has with a blank piece of paper um, and then just not knowing what to do is what's gripping sometimes for somebody so just that little bit of smile or support or encouragement or gift, gift you're giving now just by being here. Um, and like Jamie says, you, you were selected for your talent there. <laughs> and we were so sorry because we really want everybody to have a chance to do this because it's so meaningful. Um, so thank you so much for doing that. And next week, J uh, Jamie's leading. I think at the end when we're doing that little, I know it's like silly and kind of dopey but if we can all do this thing at the same time that will be what we leave with and we'll leave with this kind of silly giggly place like now I'm going to go off for the rest of my day so so when you see the move in and see if the elders will join us that's the only little cute. request they did. They did. yeah I think I saw some of them doing that and we're kind of looking there's a screen over there and a screen over here and this thing over here so you'll notice that <laughs> we're not looking and trying to figure it all out so thank you so much for bearing with us okay no thank you for this opportunity oh, I remember telling yeah, my parents you. I remember telling my parents about this opportunity and like anything I mean you should like uh, keep a book of like every session so like if one day like he's you know your partner's not with us anymore you can give it to his family to show like how impactful like this program was Aww. you know that is such a very very poignant thing to say um i i explain this a lot of times when i talk to groups every time as a family me member a daughter every time i drove away from my mother in assisted living i cried every time so as a fam that that brought tears to my eyes that you even said that mm -hmm. the family members love their 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 mothers and their you know spouse and the who have fathers and you feel helpless because you don't know what to do and what to say like we were talking about and what a gift so they'll have this gift of the art and that would be so special if I had that that would be really special to know that this was special time spent with my mother and she was being cared for in a nice kind human way instead of a doctor telling her to do something um, if we could re we don't see your breakout rooms that's just between the two of you but wouldn't that be special for families to know that you had this joyful banter and that, that they had a friend. I mean, that's such a really good point. Um, thanks for that. Yeah, because I know especially his granddaughter would really appreciate that because she calls every single day to check in on him. So I know she would appreciate that. Well, we might find a way um, for one of you to record your time. I can make one of you a co-host. Um, we have a couple more sessions so you could actually record. And that would be a really sweet gift. So that's, that's a great idea. And also, um, towards the end, I'm going to send just a survey to you guys, just so you can like share some of your stories in writing. Um, you know, what's been special about this for you and what are you going to remember? What are you going to take with you? Things like that. And so you can be thinking now, like what you would say, um, both for your sake, 
for our sake to share your stories and for the families too. Can you so, we get to write a letter to the family? Yes. So at the end of um, OMA, we always ask um, the students to write letters to their partner as kind of a as a wrap up to their families um, and to the next partner as well. Um, so we can talk more about that, but that's another sweet way of connecting and continuing the, the joy of, of what you've invested. So, so I think, was there anything else? I think that's it. And thank you. That, Lauren, that's a huge gift to my heart mm -hmm. as a former family member. That's awesome to think that way, that it was a, a gift to a family member that cares. All right. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday. <laughs> you too. Have a great weekend. You too. Thank you. I feel like each session keeps getting better and better. Aww. Yeah, for sure. We're I, they're getting used to you. You know, the partners are getting used to it. And there's a lot to overcome that first time. New people, new technology, you know, just everything's crazy that first time. So this is good. Arched uh, Miss, you have Mrs. Thornton, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was gorgeous. Yeah, she used like a lot of colors and the gold leaf like really made it pop and yeah, I really liked her piece. It's probably my favorite, I think. Yeah, I was gonna say this has been one of my favorites for Mr. Willis. Yeah, well next week is a real challenging, you know, I think it looks challenging, I, but it's really cool. So we're gonna be doing uh, like a Japanese calligraphy sort of project where they use India ink, a bamboo brush to create designs, and then they do some sort of collage pieces on top of that, some metallic. It looks it looks kind of Asian, but contemporary and abstract at the same time. And then there are these little rubber stamps that they dip in red ink to do, you know how you'll see on a Asian piece, like the little symbols down in the corner. So we have some of those that they can stamp on there. So They've never done it before. We've never done it before. So we're gonna be practicing this week. Um, but it's always nice to introduce something new. Um, especially these these folks are veterans. You know, they've been doing OMA for a long time. So we like to change it up every now and then. So we're all gonna be guinea pigs on this one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thanks, and, guys. And Alexis, I bet you really like Miss Ankowski. She's yeah, I did. She's such a special lady. She is. I mean, she. Every time I see her, I feel like I've received something. Giver. <laughs> she's so so wonderful. So I hope you. Yeah, she's really sweet. All righty. Well, everybody, have a wonderful day and weekend, and we'll see you in a week. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>